gonna get back on top here and work a little, a uh, few different options on cheap tilts here. So the first one we're gonna do is off our original breakdown, the opposite side chop. So when we line this up, right, I was saying before, we, an we don't anticipate our partner to go straight to their belly, straight to their forehead, all right, flat to the mat. We expect this, uh, we expect our opponent to fight us back and give us reactions. So again, I'm starting in my runner's stance, about to get this good whistle start, shooting my back knee, right, to bump him forward up to his hands, double thigh pry. Now, switching sides to this chop, running with my feet to capture this wrist, all right? From here, whether a guy's flat or on their base, it doesn't necessarily matter. We'll go from base because it'll be easier to show right now. So if this, if this partner stays up, what I want to do, I'm on the left side, I have his wrist with my left hand, so I'm gonna pull this left hand and his wrist to his hip. So I'm gonna pull this wrist as tight to his hip as I can, pulling like a seatbelt across his shoulder. My other hand is gonna frame at the elbow, and it's actually gonna push his elbow across as I'm pulling with my wrist. I'm gonna start running my feet on my toes towards the opposite side of the body. As I'm pushing with my hand across his elbow, my elbow is sliding right to his inner thigh. My head is gonna look through at his elbow and everything that I'm pulling as I'm gonna walk my feet around and catch him right into this pocket. One of the most important things, guys, is catching with this bottom foot. So my knee, as soon as I roll it through, my knee immediately is sticking up, facing the ceiling, and this other foot is elevating. I'm using my elbow to pull tight on the front of his thigh. I'm pulling at his elbow, the one that pushed across, I'm pulling at his elbow to make sure his back stays on the mat, all right? And as this guy starts to fight, I'm gonna scoot and just try to keep our bodies perpendicular to keep him on his back, all right? It's pretty unlikely that we'll get a fall from here, although it is possible. So we wanna try to scoot to make sure that we can get our swipes and get our back points before we get on top and start working for our next thing. But from our breakdown, I'm gonna go on the other side, start on the right, okay? Bump them on the whistle start up to hands and knees. I'm gonna chop, run, capture wrist, pull his wrist to his hip, hand comes to elbow. As I run my feet, I'm gonna look all the way across. I'm walking around my head as I sink it through my body is anticipating him coming through in this bottom knee, bottom foot, catches in the mat, points directly to the ceiling. From here, I'm using my elbow on his thigh and pulling it down, and I'm actually almost trying to, um, I'm trying to put together my elbow and my knee here, so really isolating his front hip, all right, as I scoot perpendicular, to make sure that I'm getting my back points. Hey, Joey, I, I, when I feel myself start to slide out of your pocket because I'm bellying down, you're walking your feet. Talk about that. You're constantly adjusting. Yeah, so like I was saying, guys, when we're in tilt positions, our partner's always going to be fighting out. So we need to be scooting and trying to keep everything tight and underneath. And in a tilt, we need our partner in our pocket. So when I roll through on this here, I need to continue to scoot, all right? Also, I'm trying to get perpendicular. In a tilt, the more we're parallel, the less he is probably gonna be turned. So I need to get perpendicular to make sure that his back is exposed to the mat. Using this other leg to elevate, he's gonna be trying to turn away with that. I'm using that to turn it up and put his back to the mat. 
as my bottom foot scoots and keeps that knee pointed up to the ceiling. Now, it looks like I'm getting a little looser in the position than I am, but his back is exposing to the mat more and more so every time. So as soon as I chop, I pull, I catch nice and tight, elbow clamps down, all right, foot's up, and now I'm just trying to scoot and make sure that my partner's back is exposed to the mat, all right? I'm also conscious of my own back. I'm not just gonna lay here like this, all right? We see defensive falls all the time. So I am scooting, making sure that my back is only partly up and this guy is settled down. Now, if we're gonna try to settle in for the fall here, guys, one thing that we wanna do, this elbow on the front is super important, and we use our hand to push at his elbow to try and flatten part of his back to the mat, all right? And this is if we're really pushing for a fall, super tight. When a guy's lazy there, we might be able to get it. But guys, I'm keeping everything tight. When I yank his hand to his wrist, uh, sorry, his wrist to his hip, you know, I'm taking this whole post away. So I yank his wrist to his hip and I'm rolling through this side. This post is gone. I use this block to push it through as I'm pulling. So I'm using both of my arms to pull his arm across his body. Once I do that, you guys can see, I use this elbow to try to get in and line it on his thigh as much as I can. From here, my head stays tight. I'm looking through, running my feet all the way through to catch. Knee is immediately pointing towards the ceiling. All right. Coach Perry starting to post on this as if he was to start fighting out. This is why I need to scoot. All right. And make sure that my bottom leg is elevating. My other knee is pointed towards the ceiling and I'm keeping tight with my elbow and using my hands to create pressure. If I feel like I'm losing it, just let the man belly out. Now we're back on top. All right, and we can get to work. So that's our cross wrist tilt. Again, focusing on using both of our hands to take away his post, keep that arm tight, staying on our toes, running our feet. And once we get through to the tilt position, our bottom knee pointed directly to the ceiling, bottom foot in the mat, and our other foot is elevating. So, one more time. Chop, capture the wrist, pull. I'm gonna start running it. Run my feet all the way through, catch in this position. He starts fighting away. All right, I'm gonna get perpendicular and use this elevator. All right, if he does turn into me, I'm gonna use this hand to push away if he turns into me. If he turns away, I'm gonna use the elevator and I'm gonna pull, turns into me, I'm gonna push away to make sure his back is always exposed. So that's our cross wrist tilt from top. 